identity, we can break down tangent of theta and cotangent of theta to get it equal to the, the left equal to the right. So sine of theta over cosine of theta plus cosine of theta over sine of theta. So if we get a common denominator, we end up with sine squared theta because we need to have the sine cosine on the bottom plus cosine squared theta all over sine theta cosine theta. If you notice here, this is a trig identity. It's equal to one. So we end up with one over sine theta cosine theta. And we can further break this down into um, just to make it coherent, sine theta times one over cosine theta. And this is equal to cosecant theta times secant theta. And just to make it look like the right, we'll just rearrange them around. Doesn't matter. And there's how we have it. Okay, I hope this problem helped you out. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video and you have yourself a great day.